Hello everyone. Are you looking for an internship or a full-time role right now? You have been applying to 300 job applications and haven't received any interview call yet. Stay with me. I'm Pranjali Ajayparsi, currently working as a data scientist at Autodesk in USA. In this video, I'd be talking about a few tips and tricks that have helped me to get interview calls from big tech companies like Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Bloomberg, Autodesk, and a lot more in just a few weeks. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, I have put my LinkedIn profile in the description box. So let's get started. I know a lot of people do this. Uh, I actually had a list of 100 to 200 companies that I was interested in when I was applying for jobs or when I was applying for internships. Each day, I used to basically choose one company and I used to reach out to 20 people on LinkedIn working in that company. And I used to do this for three consecutive days to the same company, sending 60 connection requests to people working in that single company. So this has actually gotten me around 15 to 20 phone call interviews and I've also got lots of referrals from companies like Fang, Facebook, Apple and a lot of big tech companies like Bloomberg, Autodesk etc. So there are three kinds of people that you can actually reach out to. And so the first kind is basically reaching out to a recruiter. They usually look at your profile and if they are interested in uh, your profile and if they're actually looking for a role that you are interested in, they reach out to you and are like, okay, let's get on a phone call and I would like to know more about what you're looking for or what kind of roles or what location you're based in. So this way I've actually gotten around five to six phone call interviews just by reaching out to recruiters on LinkedIn and I used to have like a templated message that I used to use when reaching out to people on LinkedIn so you can find that in the description box or you can also see that on the screen for your own reference. Second uh, kind of people is basically reaching out to engineers, um, data scientists, machine learning engineers, software engineers. So when you reach out to these people they are happy to refer you. So you can just be like, hey, this is my, um, this is a role that I'm interested in. This is my resume, this is my cover letter. Uh, it'll be great if you could just review my profile and give me a referral for this particular role. And there are lots of people who are more than happy to refer you. First of all, it actually compensates them when you actually get that particular role. So I don't think anybody would be, you know, uh, would be not up for some free money. So third thing is basically reaching out to managers, data science managers, software engineering managers, any kind of managers that you see on LinkedIn who are working in that company. They know that they know uh, people who are actually hiring in other companies or in other, uh, in other teams, or they themselves are hiring in their own team. So this way, uh, they are usually like, okay, let me schedule some call with the recruiter and we can just get started from there. So I know a lot of people, it's, it's a little tedious task to basically make the entire sheet. So I've actually provided a dummy sheet for you with a list of companies in the description box. So duplicate it and use it for your own reference. Second way is to basically apply to jobs and internships as soon as possible uh, and also using referrals. So let us consider I'm a recruiter and I'm, I have basically a job posting on LinkedIn and I'm looking for people for that particular role. So obviously in the first two or three days, there are less number of applicants. So it's easier for me to kind of scrape through their profile and reach out to them, right? But after a month or two, it obviously, uh, the job posting will definitely have around 100 to 200 applicants, which decreases your profile visibility because there are so many people for me to actually review. So that is why I actually suggest uh, people to apply as soon as possible. You can take a buffer of seven to 10 days. And on LinkedIn, you actually have a feature where you can notify yourself whenever a job posting is made. And you also can see the number of applicants who applied for that particular job. In, uh, I, in a few days, I'd also be posting about a few LinkedIn tips and tricks and some strategies that you can use to apply for jobs that will definitely improve your job hunting by around 2x. Third way is basically having a cover letter. I know a lot of people do not focus on having a cover letter. They usually get their LinkedIn reviewed, their resume reviewed, but I know a lot of people just apply for jobs without even attaching their cover letter. 
for me, when I started applying for jobs, I saw a major difference when I started applying with a cover letter. I actually just had one cover letter and I used to change a few things in the last paragraph. I used to change the company name, maybe add one or two lines about the company and always uh, submit my application using those cover letters. So I also would be providing some templated cover letters uh, that you can actually refer to for creating your own cover letter. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for staying with me. I would be creating more content and I would also be creating part two for LinkedIn tips and tricks and strategies, how you can actually connect with people and um, how you can get more phone calls and interviews from different companies for internships and job roles. So yeah, if you like my content, definitely subscribe to my channel. Uh, do not forget to press on the bell button. If you also want to connect with me on LinkedIn, I have provided my LinkedIn profile in the description box. Thirdly and lastly, you can actually book a one-on-one -on -one session for free with me for around 15 to 20 minutes if you want to get your resume reviewed, if you want to get your cover letter removed or yeah, like a lot of different things that you can talk about. So thank you so much again. You have an amazing day.